equals three studios. Did you guys see that? <laughs> no, you're right. It's probably all in my head. <laughs>you just know this guy was planning an epic training montage. You're the best around. You celebrate this. This was posted a few weeks ago and has almost 17,000 views. What does this guy have against boards anyway? Maybe he got his ass kicked by a shelf. You want to get through him, you got to get through me first. No. You think he was practicing his superhero catchphrase? Talk to the hand. First hand knowledge. Get ready for hand stuff. Yeah, okay, that works too. They say if you love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, get a broom. According to the description, this bold rat is trying to get into this urgent care building in Chicago. Oh my god. Why are they turning this rat away? Does he, does he not have health care? Thanks a lot, President of the United States of America's health care situation. Come on, man. You gotta let me in. I just wrecked my motorcycle. I gotta see a doctor. Oh, maybe he's not injured. Maybe he just wants a job. It's like the sequel to Ratatouille. Ratatouille? No, that's not gonna work. There's only one of them. <laughs> that's a stretch. Or maybe they just have really delicious cheese in the cafeteria. Whatever the reason, he really wants in and he won't take no for an answer. I would not pick this guy to play goalie on my hockey team. I'm just kidding. I would never play hockey. Hey guy, just drop the broom and get it later. Or if you're worried that someone's gonna steal it, then just give it a bigger flick. Give it a flick of the wrist. Give it a flick of the wrist. Get away, baby! <laughs> all right, I gotta call something out. The title of this video calls it a bold rat, and I don't think it's bold at all. I believe that's false advertising. If anything, it's more of like a clingy, needy, please take me back kind of a situation. Like, look out, we got a stage five clinger. You know what I say to that? Just give it a flick of the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> There's a saying that goes, dance like no one's watching, but when you have sweet moves like this, <laughs> well, you just need to share with the rest of the world. This whippersnapper has the music in him and he's showing off his best moves in what looks like the 1990s. I don't know. Gunman style. Oh, no, no, he dropped a Gangnam reference, so that definitely happened after 2012. He just dresses like he's about to host Amazing Discoveries. Remember? The 90s. Although, it doesn't appear he's ever actually seen the video for Gangnam Style, and is just making it up as he goes. Hey, you can't do whatever you want and call it something that already exists. My question is, why was that guy dancing in the first place? Is he dancing for exercise? Is he dancing to seduce his wife? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> Whoa, that dog is not a fan. Is he not a fan of dancing in general, like the minister from Footloose? Gotta, gotta, gotta cut loose. Footloose. Maybe he hates the way he pronounces Gangnam style, or the way he looks in that sweater, or his general demeanor. <laughs> Maybe it's all of the above. You can see he's inching closer and closer to try and provoke him, and he gets what he wants. Maybe he's just chasing that adrenaline rush, but he's too old for bungee jumping or skydiving. I wonder where he learned those moves. Can I just say, great choice of sweater, and five, six, seven, and Gangnam Style. That's it, Gangnam Style. Make it your own Gangnam Style. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Carlos, y yo apruebo este mensaje. Now get out of here. Get out of here and I'll hold him off for you. Thank you for watching this Equals 3 Studios production. To watch another episode, click here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And now, I dance!